In this lesson, we are going to create a list of products in web templates. What we're gonna do in this lesson is to create a thumbnails like this, which includes product image, product name, product ratings, and product price. We're gonna use Flexbox to put items next to each other. And also in each product thumbnail, we're gonna use Font Awesome to show stars like this and also add style to price and make product image and product name linkable to the product details page. To check the code of this lesson, visit this link and then you will see index.html codes changes right here. Let's get into it. To display product list, we need to create a dev for products. Go to index.html in your template folder and get rid of content inside main section. And then here create a div and set class of this div to row and center. Set class to row and center. We are going to put images next to each other. That's why we are using row and we are gonna make them center aligned. If you check the style.css, setting display to flex is gonna make the items in the row to put them next to each other instead of pushing down in new lines. And the next step is gonna be creating a product item and then I will duplicate that to create multiple product items. For product, I'm gonna create a div and set the class of this div to card and I'm gonna add a style to card to create a border around this div. Also, inside this card, create a link and set the link to, let's say, product screen, product.html. Inside this link, put an image and for image, set the source of image to slash images slash product dash one dot jpg and we need to set alt set alt to product and close it i'm gonna put a comment here and image size should be 680 pixel by 830 pixel that's the scale of image and i'm gonna download an image from internet with this scale and put it inside template folder right click new folder create images and inside that put an image with this scale i just set the image name to p1 you can download this image from this url amazon.webacademy.pro slash images slash p1 also you can change one two two three four five and six to get all products images from this url save them in your computer to make it shorter and here you can make it p1 and put a dot here because we are going to address from this path let's check the result yeah here if you refresh your page you can see that the image of product appears here okay let's continue and convert this image to this style let's go for it right after creating a link it's time to create a card body right after link create a div and set class of this div to card body inside card body we're gonna put the name of product but we need to wrap it inside link to a href2 product.html and inside that create h2 and inside that set the name of product i set the name of product to nike slim shirt after this link we need to create a rating for rating create a div and set the class of this div to rating inside this class create an span and inside the span create an icon element and set the class of this icon to fa 
stand for font awesome we're gonna add it and fa star it's gonna create an a star for us and then close it so this product is one star let's make it five star copy this four times and now one two three four five star product will be created here and after this dev it's time to create price section create a dev and set class of dev price we're gonna make the font size bold that's why we set a class to it and set the price to let's say 120 dollar and if you refresh your page you can see that the image is here its size is too big and here is the h2 for product title and this is the price we're gonna change this style to this one let's go for it before going to the style set the image class to medium and open style.css and create a section for image for all images we're gonna create a border radius and set border radius to half a rim for image that has class medium set max width the maximum width to 29 rim and set the width to a hundred percent that's it for the image section let's create a section for card we are going to create a bordered dev for card class create a border set the width of border to 0.1 rem the color of border to gray and style to solid create a background color to a very light gray color and set border radius to 0.5 rem and create a margin around it for cart body we need to create just the padding padding one rim and for all elements inside body you know i'm using angle bracket star it means that the all direct child of card body create margin button to 0.5 rem we're gonna create space between items yeah here is the result it created a background a border and space between items let's change the font size of h2 and also the price I scroll up in the comment section at the very top for h1 set font size to 1.8 rem and create a padding vertically 1 rem and horizontally to 0 copy that for h2 change it to h2 and make the font size smaller 1.6 rem check the result yeah much closer to this one and let's go for price go to the card section here and put dot price we're going to set the font size of class of price to 2 rem we're gonna make it bigger and if you check the result yeah for putting the stars we need to go to index.html and in the header section we need to add another style and this style comes from a cdn of font awesome let's link it link relationship is style sheet font awesome is a library to show icons in your web page to use it you need to link it and the address to link is this you need to put in the href section this url and then close it and save it it should be like this after this just refresh great we have stars here 
but they are not gold. Let's make them gold. To make them gold in the style.css, right after card, create a section for rating and for dot rating span. It means that for all spans inside rating, set color to gold. The code is F0C040 and create a very slight margin. Set margin to 0.1 rem. Good. Let's refresh. Great. We implemented the product item here. And if you refresh this, it's going to be multiple item next to each other. And it should be fully responsive. Let's try that. Go to index.html and select the card element. Let me make this a bit smaller. I mean, the height of code. I'm just get rid of extra lines here to have all items in one screen view. Save it. And this is the card element. What I need to do is to just duplicate this for five times. Copy this and then here paste it one, two, three, four, five and save it. Let's go to the result and refresh this. As you see, we have six products exactly similar to this one. Great, we implemented displaying product list. You can update images, product names, and also the stars. If you want to change star to empty star, what you need to do, let's say for the last product, make put a dash O. It stand for outline. And if you refresh it, you have an empty star. And if you want to make it half a star, what you need to do is to use half O. Let's refresh. You see, it's half felt star. Okay, that's it for this lesson. In this lesson, we created product list very similar to the final one. And here we practiced using Flexbox to put items next to each other, using Font Awesome to create ratings, creating card element to create a bordered rounded items and put items next to each other. That's it for this lesson. See you on next lesson.